For anyone who's watching this after the fact, because no one's here viewing live yet, this is how last night's tabletop turned out. So, here we go, all finished. Try and get it. Um, so, the edges ended up really clean. I'm in love with having that um, edge of oak there. <laughs> Um, and if we come up closer, whether you can see or not, oh, don't, oh, puppy walking through. There's lots happening in that anyway. And uh, yeah, at least I got it all covered, and I like the idea of having the the edge sealed so that's what I've done again today I'm just gonna go pop this away from the pets I will be right back also these are the drip like drippings I guess that came off of that uh, maybe if I put them under here actually so even the uh, well I guess you could call it waste or whatever they look pretty I know that other people do repurpose these and use them in uh, in their artwork, so sort of popped them to one side, but puppy. Oh, it's not like I spent time setting that up or not. Let's try and uh, aim back and. Back in frame, I guess. Oh. I hope they're about to settle down and that's the end of it. So, okay. Tonight, I wanna to do a whole different color scheme. I really do wanna do more of the, uh, the ocean ones, but this is my third and last table for the time being. So, since I've already done two in the ocean style, I'm going to try um, something else that's really interested me, which is like a geode type style with lots of purples and glitters and uh, Yeah, I've got my mixes here. I you can sort of see I'll bring them up a bit closer um, In the center. I want to do this. Uh, I mean, it's showing up blue on camera, but it's actually um, more of a purple um, glitter in the center and then I so you do it in rings so you work your way out so next I've got this uh, what they call luster violet also showing up blue on camera um, hi Riley um, oh I'm well yeah they, they do look cool I'm very um, critical of myself but I'm glad that you like it I'm gonna let my mum choose one out of the two that I made um, to have at her place because I was sort of looking at um, making these to one have fun and be creative but you know possibly sell them in the future um, yeah I'm addicted Jade I am very addicted <laughs> and we're gonna have to roll with this because it's it's just hard I've got my lights here I've got my cameras here my laptop and the table set up for it so it's hard to go okay let's just pack this away and then perhaps not come back to it for another I don't know three months or something so while the motivation is there anyway I have this it's supposed to be it's called flash silver um, but it looks like just a pearlescent sort of white color to me and so I'm planning on using my two whites like this is a glittery uh, sparkle sparkle pearl or something I don't know making more of the white so that I can um, like what's the word do a color do white do a color it's not coming to mind you probably know the word <laughs> I've got this amazing uh, purple once again it's probably going to show up blue but it's slightly more of a pinky purple than the one I'm going to do in the center I have a purple red um, and the like I think that's just called purple well wow, it really is showing up very blue in that camera I have to adjust the white balance I think um, and then 
Is it the same over here? Oh, there's no light on it over here. Mm, can't really tell. Mm, no. Anyway, um, and then I've got this pink, this light pink. So I love glitters. I'm pretty excited to see them all, and I hope it works out. Um, you bought one of the tables. That's really cool, Jade. Did you buy it online, or did you go into the shop and get it? I don't know whether you can go out to a Kmart um, in your state, but in SA we still can. Um, I ordered online. It took two and a half weeks um, for my order to arrive, so even though they shipped it the next day, uh, it took two and a half weeks, so if you ordered online, be prepared to wait a little bit. We're all, I guess, the whole postal service is just absolutely overwhelmed at the moment. Um, but I'm thinking of ordering some more as well, <laughs> because this is the third and last one I have. I do have a big mirror, which is even uh, larger in diameter than this. I'm not sure what I want to do on that one yet. Um, and the, the last thing that I want to do on this is just some gold flake, um, which like in some clear, I don't know, it's, it's very pretty. And I'm not sure where exactly I'll put it, but it has to be a ring somewhere. It might end up going on top of an area. Um, and hi Toxonia, thanks for joining. Okay, so I hadn't shown you like the actual little samples for my other um, table. So I thought I would show you the, the plan, the theme today. And uh, yeah, we may as well get into it. The new laptop and Rode NT1 arriving. Ooh, exciting. I remember when I got my laptop, that was a great day. Um, but yeah, I actually ended up I went on Forever New and they had a sale and they sent me another coupon to get an even further discount and I bought myself a coat and I'm hoping that I've got the right size and it fits really well because um, I don't have that many coats and Forever New, like, they do really good quality clothes. I don't often spend big money on clothes. I often just get things at Savers and all of that. But when it comes to a coat, I have another one of theirs and I have just worn that one to death over the past, I think, four or five years. So I'm excited for that to come in the post and hopefully it doesn't take too long, but uh, sorry, I'm a bit of a chatterbox today. <laughs> so it's now oh, almost quarter past one in the morning. I didn't wake up till almost 3 p.m. today. Um, everything's really off. <laughs> I need, I, I think I might set an alarm tomorrow so I can get up and have an actual day instead of just three hours and then the sun's down. Um, even though I do enjoy this nighttime um, fun. Uh, okay. Right. So, we're going to do the same amount that we did last night, which was 550 mil. And I need to put my gloves on. I've already got my, my mixes over here and I'm hoping they're going to be all right. As I said, I'm going to do more of the whites. So, usually you make a use slash cost palette so you know how much it worth it's worth to buy one. Oh, like the coat. Yeah. Yep. I get that. Um, I reckon that's a good way to look at it. Like it might be more expensive than something, but if you're going to wear it a lot more than that other something, then, uh, it could end up being better value for money. <laughs> um, once again, I'm not going to do a whole heap of talking once I start mixing. Um, but yeah, hopefully bear with me through that process and then we can start pouring and start the magic happening. I think last night I probably went a little too much with the heat gun and I'm not looking to move things around much once I've popped them down today. So I think that's something I'm learning. Um, it doesn't 
want to do too much once you've put it down unlike say acrylic pouring where you can just maneuver things to move themselves around this is a bit different so i'm going to try and be a bit more um what's the word like thought out um specific in where i place things instead of just slopping things all over the place and I was also thinking if I do another ocean one, I'll probably use a, uh, a jug with a lip on it to mix the white in so that I can pour very fine amounts of the white um, rather than it just being like dollop. So we'll see. Hi, Danny. Um, okay, let's get going. I'm going to pop this over here. Yep. I'm running out of resin, so I'm going to need to buy some more soon. 11 thing. Oh. Uh, 270 or five. Yep. Let me set my alarm up. Before I go ahead and mix the other part in, there it is ready to go. Part B. It's amazing how addictive crafts can be, or art can be. You just get into something and you just want to make all the different types of things that, or concoctions, combinations, that comes into your mind. Oh no. Zoe. Zoe. Come on. What are you doing? Why are you barking? Come here. Silly girl. It's fine. Don't stress. You're hearing noises. It's all right. Okay. Zoe. 
no barking. It's like past one in the morning. What's the matter? It's okay. Hi, RJ, lovely. Good girl. Don't stress. Oh, I hope she doesn't keep barking. Three minutes to stir this just seems so long. Alright, Like literally, are you done? The timer should go off any second, right? This looks pretty clear. How long? Oh, four seconds. Okay. I'll forgive you. Cool. It's looking pretty good to me. So. Let's start out with my whites. Almost. I think I wanted to do. I don't think I was meaning to put as much in the paint, but oh well, I did, so we'll just roll with it. How do I handle quarantine? I mean, it's not actually very bad here in, in SA. Our numbers are really good and we can still go out. Um, there are still some shops open. We're just being um, urged not to. And so I think for the most part, um, people are staying in and I certainly am. I worked from home before all this anyway. And uh, I found like doing a Zoom call or um, playing online games with friends found that really helpful. So, yeah. How about yourself? Please don't muck up my tripod, Zoe. Don't run through there like a bull at a gate. Good. Thank you for coming to me. That's really wonderful. Um, 
So bored. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh no, my purple red doesn't seem to have enough in it. Might just continue mixing the glitters that seem to have enough. I actually haven't worked with um, these chunky glitters in a big scale thing. I've only done little sample like jewelry pieces with them. So hopefully they work quite well. it's an instrument or some training stuff that you want to learn a new skill <laughs> yes that's Anna that um, back there on the cat tower I think the white's looking good I definitely put too much. Oh, yeah, just not enough resin in this one. See whether I end up using it or not. Two more. I am mixing the pigment with the resin at the moment, RJ Lovely. Sorry, quite a um, time sensitive thing. Translucent. out but um yeah I guess with such little amounts you gotta be a bit more on the ball. Oh I just hit my elbow. I'm gonna assume that the other purple that's pearlescent also needs more so okay. Right I'm sensitive. Yeah, it's starting to look a bit better. Yeah, it's looking heaps better. And 
this one. Um, it's, an, I think one's acidic and one's something else, but, um, it's more just, it hardens and, um, I don't want it all over my hands. Okay. <gasps> do not drop. Okay. I gotta, I gotta calm myself down and do this. So... Where was I going from here? I'm just going to have plain white. Head hair, go away. Oh no, I dripped. Didn't mean to drip. Oh well, that's part of it now. Um, where was I going next? I was going to put some... Mm, that doesn't seem right to me now. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to use the paint. Sorry if I'm not seeing any comments.
Um. I am on Instagram, Samantha Edge Musician, if you want to look me up. Oh God, oh God, I'm... Uh, can't see what I'm doing. It's getting not want any gaps in it. There's not enough resin in this gold here. I'm going to have to add some of the white in with it. Try that. I've still got, I've got some of this purple left. I don't know that I'm going to be able to make enough of a, a ring around though. I guess I could. Oh, I don't know. Uh. Oh no, I forgot what I was doing. Come on, Samantha, you're running out of time. So I do. Okay. Oops. Let's use this part. Oops. 
stop being so thick. I can't see whatever I'm doing. That's stressful. <gasps> I dropped. Oh no. It's all right, we, we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I dropped some. Some white left. Mm. Uh, thanks. Let's just see where I'm at.
okay that ended up with a lot more um more white in it oh look at it's not interesting the pink sort of coming um over the the glitter damn i had more pink as well um i guess i could add a bit more pink I have got a tiny bit of the blue left. Starting to come together. pink it's getting too solid now so the white will just have to stay up there it's all right starting to move around a bit okay my gloves are looking real messy and I'm just gonna use my heat gun to get rid of any bubbles
do feel like the middle ended up way too blue. <laughs> I don't have any left over. Oh, well, it's just a very big blue middle. And I don't know why that part's come up, but we'll... Try and cover him up. Is that good enough? That doesn't seem good enough to me. It's still. Some of the gold flake is sort of up out of the resin. Okay. Huh. That looks really cool on camera. Oh, <laughs> uh, that part's annoying though. What colour is that? This part. Cover my drips. Can we do it? better. Any other weird drips? Not any I can fix I don't think. Damn, I wish I could just do a little bit more pink. I guess I could. Absolutely tiniest bit. Probably going to fall off.
Yeah, that's much nicer. I like that. Wow. Oh, I can see more bubbles. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave that here and uh, yeah, I'll see how this has gone in the morning. <sighs> that one was really stressful. <laughs> So I had to do such thin layers, so many layers, instead of just slopping it on. It's got like an asymmetry to it, which kind of, to me, makes it a little bit more believable as a geode anyway. And although I tried to level this, I can see some points where it's falling off the side, creating like peaks. And that looks very geodish as well, so it's working for me. Don't like that spot and that spot though. I took my gloves off. I can't touch it now. Or can I? You shouldn't. Oh. Mm. One more little adjustment. That's what cover that. Yep. Now I'm actually all right with it. Okay. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, I'm not planning on coming back and doing any more, but that doesn't mean that I won't. It just means that it's less likely. I had said last night that I wouldn't be back tonight, and here I am, so I don't know. Um, I hope you're going well, and... Um, See you around.